right in the last video we set up the proxy bot and it's working now we're going to uh, add some things to it first of all since we're using such a small screen we're going to add some debugging information in the slime wrapper and we'll be uh, doing a little less turns we don't need all those turns to see if things are working out so slime message is a, a function that prints debugging information to the slime REPL so that works we've now uh, print for e print each turn and each end we've got in that turn uh, yeah slime message needs swing keyword in the features so if you put that uh, keyword in features after you've loaded the bot you need to re-evaluate uh, slime message function all right we're going to print uh, the nearby food for each end and we're using the nearby ends function um, rename it to nearby food and adapt it a little so really basic changes As you can see, nearby food has been evaluated, and uh, slime shows which uh, position in the argument list we are. Oh. A few distance doesn't exist. Okay, that should have been a few radius. Yeah, it works now. So we'll also print the nearby food information to the slime REPL now. Try it out. Yeah, so that works. Or at least it prints out something. Let's check it against the replay. We're not going over it very precisely because we don't want to waste too much time on this for the demo but it seems to be more or less correct so let's just assume it works well let's have a somewhat closer look Ah, that seem, seems to be okay. Alright, let's try to send uh, the end to uh, the first item in the nearby food list which is the thing that nearby food returns uh, let's, let's try to print it out seems to be okay in debugging info and now we're going to calculate the distance to that food item from our current position or our the end's current position And we'll also print that to uh, the REPL. Try it out again. That doesn't quite work. Okay, row is called with a nil argument. Yeah. Yeah, 
uh, nearby food can return. Uh, it's impossible to have no food near your end, so it returns nil, and we're calculating the distance for nil, which is nonsensical. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, this is a bug in my uh, my bot actually. Um, when the square you're moving to is water, uh, you can't move to it, but you also can't move to it if it's food, which is quite intuitive. But if you check the wiki for AI challenge, it is actually possible to have an ant directly besides a food square. Those si situations can exist. So now we're going to check if our new location is closer to the food. Than our uh, previous or current location. And if it is, we'll move to it. Yeah. I should have given that variable a proper name in the first place. And if I wasn't retarded, I'd use search and replace. But I'll blame it on the time of day and my old age. Okay, we now got three ends at the end of the game. So, but it's doing something different. Not necessarily better, but at least it's different. And it's going for the food. So we need a little more turns to see what it does. And it basically wraps it up. For now, I hope I've shown how to uh, shown you how to set up ProxyBot and how to use it. As you can see, you can just uh, make a small change in a function and send it to the Lisp image, and then uh, run a new game again. All right, that's it. Have fun in the challenge.